everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an updated what's in my travel makeup bag. Now I actually just got this bag in um, literally from Amazon two days ago. I will link it down below for anyone who's interested just because I have gone through my fair share of travel makeup bags. I had the one that was like hard back with compartments and I found that I didn't fit any of my regular size makeup and I've had obviously the one in my past um, video, but I didn't feel like that really stored everything that I wanted adequately. Um, and I've had like other makeup bags. So I feel like this is a great option. Um, and when you first get it in the mail, it looks kind of small and compact, but it really does expand. I am going to be traveling to LA. So I wanted to pack everything in advance just because like I do this weird thing where it's like, if I know I'm gonna be using the same makeup for like a week or so I like to just like pack that away so that I make sure I use other stuff in the meantime I know I'm like weird but um yeah so I've just figured I would just show you everything that I've packed in this bag so far and it actually doesn't include brushes let me know if you want to see a part two I really just wanted to focus on showing you the makeup and stuff because the brushes um always change and they rotate so these are the things that I need to travel with in terms of makeup items. So if you wanna see everything that I've packed in this bag and if you want a part two, um, toiletry items, brushes, just let me know in the comments below and I will definitely film that for you guys. Um, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I post and without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. All right, so here is the little carrying case and I like this because I'm able to see all of my makeup stored just like this. Now, even though I am driving to LA, I typically don't like to travel with glass no matter what plane or car so um, I don't really carry like my glass foundations I typically like to bring squeezy tubes and things of that nature um, although this is an exception so I am going to show you an overview right now I'm going to show you an insert of how I pack this bag and honestly there's no real rhyme or reason as to what I do but um, this carrying case the beauty of it allows me to just have everything and I can just pull things out without it being super messy even though there aren't specific compartments for each thing so the first thing I have in here is this travel size soul body glow oil, which um, I spoke about in my last favorites video, my June favorites, which is linked above and below. And I love this because I bought it specifically to travel. And I also am bringing the soul body brush. This is awesome. You just pack a little bit in here. You just kind of rub it all over your arms, gives you that nice golden -y glow for the summertime, which I mean, even though we're really not going that many places, I just think is cool to have wherever you are, right? So I just love bringing this. And the brush is shedding because I did this thing and I tried to pull out a bunch of hairs because I was like, why is it so flat? So that's on me. But um, yeah, I just think it's fun to bring like wherever you're going. It just gives you that nice like extra shimmer, um, you know, fun for the summer, right? So why not if I have it in a travel size? So I am bringing that. And this is in a glass case, but I am bringing the unicarton with it. So it makes it a little bit more sturdy to um, travel with. Next up, I have lashes. Now, um, I would honestly bring this pair, but I feel like this box is a little bit too bulky, but I am bringing the pair of Swerve lashes from Beauty Creation Cosmetics. They're not too dramatic, but not too subtle at the same time. So I think they're a great pair. And honestly, I probably won't be wearing these when I travel because I'm gonna be with family for most of the time, but I just think it's a nice kind of thing to bring. Um, I always, no matter where I travel, feel like I should always bring at least one pair of lashes because you know it's always better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it so yeah I don't know if we're gonna be doing things for my dad's birthday or whatever but you know I'm just gonna bring a pair and then in terms of makeup items the setting spray that I always bring is this guy right here this is the essence you better work gym proof fixing spray looks like this I'm actually running out but I like bringing this not only because of the size but because this is a nice you know gym proof sweat resistant setting spray so it is gonna be good for those days where you want to just lock in your makeup and it's just easy one and done small to bring um, as I said I am running out of this but this is definitely like my go-to travel setting spray um, I am bringing a few lip products and I will show them all to you right now um, it's always important for me to travel with just like a throw-on everyday lipstick so the lipstick I will typically travel with is either Tarte Colada which I have in my lipstick case or the ColourPop Ultra, um, which one is this one? This one is the Blur Lipstick in the shade California Love, looks like this. This is one of the Blur formulas, so it's not gonna be as pigmented right off the bat, although you can see it is pretty pigmented. But this is a nice kind of deeper nude for me, a Your Lips But Better, especially complements my tan in the summer, and I love bringing it to LA because it's like California Love, which I think is like super cute. Um, and this is great for when you just wanna throw on a little bit of color on your lips, don't wanna fuss with anything too prominent, um, but you just wanna throw a little bit of something 
something on there, this is like my go-to travel staple. And I think it's important um, to always bring like at least one bullet lipstick just because liquid lipsticks are a little bit more of a, a fuss. Um, lipsticks you can just throw on and be good to go. But speaking of liquid lipsticks, because this case actually allows for it and because these are so small, I'm actually bringing all four of these Real Her Matte Liquid Lipsticks just because look how tiny they are. They're perfect for traveling. Um, I will swatch them for you. Um, I've spoken about these in favorites videos. These lipsticks are so amazing. The formula is so liquidy, dries down matte, wears off super nicely and not blotchy at all, but stays a super long time. This is in the shade I Am Tough. It's this really nice deep red. These are not streaky at all. I have the shade I Decide My Destiny, which is like this nice pinky shade. Looks like that right there. And then I also have I will succeed, which is a beautiful peachy nude that I've been wearing a lot whenever I have been going out and wanting a nude. And then the last one I have is um, I am fearless, which is a nice kind of berry shade. So you get a nice variety. So I just figured, obviously, since I have the space, why not bring all of them so you can see how beautiful and pigmented they are. So these are coming with me. I'm also bringing one lip liner. I'm going to bring the Milani Color Stamen Lip Liner in the shade All Natural. It's just a really nice nude shade. It's very creamy, glides on. It will complement any of these colors that I have here. So I just feel like if I am applying a lip liner, might as well be this. And then this may seem aggressive, but I'm actually bringing three lip glosses just because I feel like these all serve different purposes. So this one in the shade Phoenix, this is the ColourPop Mulan collection. I gotta be honest, I'm bringing this mainly because of the size and it's so portable, um, but I'm not in love with the formula of this. It's super thick, but it does give a nice kind of like golden-y sheen. So this is nice to wear like over a lip liner on its own, um, and it's a kind of lip gloss that will stay on all day. So I really like it for that reason. I'm also gonna bring the Balm Pump Your Pucker, and I love traveling with this one because it is one of those lip glosses that's like ceramy, it's not sticky at all, and it does give the illusion of plump lips, and you can see there's pigment right away. So this is the kind of lip gloss that you can apply without any lip liner, any lipstick, and just be good to go. So I love like a one and done formula. Um, it's very hassle-free. You don't have to use a mirror to apply it, so that's awesome. And then as a topper kind of lip gloss, like a clear shimmer fleck lip gloss, I always like traveling with one of these. So I either will travel with this guy right here or the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Add a Girl. I just like a sheer kind of glittery wash. Um, this one is the Thrive Cosmetics Lip Topper in the shade Ashley. And this is awesome because you can see it's literally just a clear gloss with a little bit of shimmer. So this is going to revive any of those matte lipsticks that you have on. So to me, this is an essential. If I had to bring one lip gloss, honestly, I would probably just bring this one because a topper you can wear alone without any makeup or you can put it on top of you know, one of the matte lipsticks that you have to give it a little extra something. So this is awesome and definitely this kind of product is a travel staple for me. Okay, next up, moving on to like brows. Let's let's do brows. So I'm only gonna bring two products. This one because it's so small and so easy to travel with. This is the ColourPop Brow Boss Gel in the shade Dark Brown. I actually have two of these because I thought I had lost one, but then I realized I found it, but I had got a second one in the meantime. This is awesome because not only is it so easy to travel with, the wand is so small, but it is one of those very pigmented, um, fibery formulas where if you don't want to apply brow pencil you can just go in with this brow product and be good to go so this is great because it's kind of like a one and done product perfect for traveling for your lazy days where you don't want to do like a full face just throw this on it's good to go but of course I have to bring my tried and true elf brow pencil the instant lift brow pencil you can buy this for two dollars literally and I either use the shade deep brown or natural brown um, and this is awesome, so easy to travel with, very light, so yeah. Okay, so speaking of eyes, I am bringing one mascara and a mascara primer just because I do have the travel version of this. This is the Marc Jacobs um, Velvet, or yeah, the Velvet Primer Epic Lash Primer. So I have the big size, which I've spoken about so many times before. I use this on an everyday basis while I'm here. But to travel, I actually got this in a set with the Velvet Noir Mascara, like the regular size, and it came in like a value you said so I thought oh why not that's like super valuable to travel with so if I didn't have it in this size 
I probably wouldn't bring the big size because that's huge and really clunky to travel with. But because I have a travel size, um, it's really awesome to bring. The wand itself is the same size, so I figure why not? And then the mascara I'm actually gonna bring is this guy. This is the Petite and Pretty Fully Feathered Volumizing Mascara. Looks like this. I will link my mascara collection above and below in case you wanna check out all my mascaras. But I like this one because it's smaller than like one of my big size mascaras, but it's not super small like a travel size mascara and the wand is super nice this is one of my favorite mascaras in my collection it's very light packaging you know you have to keep that in mind too or at least i do when i'm traveling um the weight of products matters to me a lot so that's why i don't like bringing glass products but even things like the better than sex mascara like this is obviously going to be heavier than this and even you know my thrive cosmetics mascaras like these are actually pretty heavy so those are definitely things that i keep in mind when i am packing my travel makeup bag and things that i would suggest to you to keep in mind um whether it's trying to um fall within a certain weight limit for you know your bag if you're traveling through um, a plane or you know whatever it may be so yeah lighter is always better um i'm actually only gonna bring one eyeliner since in la in particular i have my tardis double take there so i'm not gonna bring a separate liquid liner i just feel like that's extraneous especially for where i am going but i'm gonna bring this actual like travel size urban decay 24 7 glide on eye pencil this is the eyeliner i always travel with not only because it's travel size but because i can count on this liner to you know take me wherever i need to go it lasts a long time I can put it on my tight line, my water line. Um, I can line my lashes with it. It's just a really nice, durable, reliable eyeliner. I am going to sharpen it though. And I'm not gonna actually bring a sharpener with me just because I try to make sure that I do everything up front. You know, I'm not gonna need to sharpen my things within a week of me being there. So I'm actually gonna sharpen this now. I like the Ulta Beauty sharpeners. Okay, speaking of eye things, I'm gonna bring these two little things that I have in the side mesh pockets. This one is the Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Primer. Now, this one isn't my favorite eyeshadow primer, but it is the smallest that I have in my collection. So I am gonna bring this, and I do wanna test it out a little bit more. So I'm gonna bring it, and it's obviously lighter than like my Fenty Beauty or you know my Urban Decay, so this is coming with me. And then I'm gonna bring my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive in case I do wear falsies because um, you know I always have to, you know, and you need glue to put on your falsies, so. Okie dokie, so um, in terms of eyeshadow, this may seem excessive, but I'm actually gonna be bringing three palettes. Now one is actually like an actual palette, the Urban Decay Born to Run is a great palette to travel with, but again, that one's a little bit heavier. So if I can bring something lighter, then why not? I love the Violet Voss Essentials palette. Again, I've spoken about it in my favorites. Comes with a nice mirror. I always recommend bringing a palette wherever you're going with the mirror, just because it's so easy to just prop up. Do your eye makeup that way, and this definitely is. And this, you can see, has so many colors. Um, I talk more about it in depth in my favorites video, which I will link above and below, but you have a black, you have a dark brown, you have some fun lid shades, some nice transitions. So this overall is a great essentials palette that goes a little bit beyond your typical brownie nudes, which my friends, I cannot recommend these enough. Like seriously, go to Ulta, go to Target, wherever they sell e.l.f., go to e.l.f.com and buy these. They have I think like three more varieties, but I wanted to buy the more neutral ones because these are just the perfect palettes to throw in with anything that you're traveling with. So you could be carrying a really colorful, unwearable palette and still, you know, get a good look out of like all of these. So I totally recommend these. I have the truffles palette and the cream and sugar palette. So you can see right here, these are awesome. This is a great medium transition shade. You have some nice shimmers, a dark brown, a black. So you cannot go wrong. Honestly, I probably would only need to bring these two. I brought these last time with me to LA and they served me well, but these are great because you have some fun colors in here. And I always like to, you know, bring something that will allow me to have fun. If I am gonna do a colorful look, even though I don't think I will be, I liked at least knowing that I have that option to do so, but obviously with the neutrals as well. So that is it for the eye products. Now moving on to the face products. Um, because we are traveling, the only primer I'm gonna be bringing is the Essence All About Matte T-Zone Primer Stick because I usually do makeup like after I wash my face and I moisturize. So I 
technically don't really need to go in with something all over the face and because we're trying to pack light this is a great option i also like to travel with the smashbox primer stick the photo finish one but this is great it's just a bomb stick you rub all over your t-zone which is really the area that i want to focus on priming anyway so this is awesome so easy so compact to travel with so i love bringing this for foundation i like to bring a couple of options so i'm going to bring two foundations um one of them is a smashbox studio skin full coverage 24 hour foundation this is in the shade 2.25 light medium i like traveling with like a full coverage foundation and like a regular everyday foundation just because you never know like what you are feeling and i'm also going to bring the catrice darkening drops because this is a little bit lighter for me than when i self tan in the summer so i'm going to bring that but then the everyday foundation I traveled with last time that I love bringing is the Thrive Cosmetics Buildable Blur CC Cream. Um, I also like the It Cosmetics CC Cream, but this one is in the shade medium beige. And because I am a little bit darker, this one suits like my self tan skin better. So it's really easy to just throw on. I don't have to put this on with it. And it just gives me that nice CC cream benefit of the SPF and those anti-aging benefits, but it also gives me really decent coverage. I've also spoken about this. Um, it's really, really awesome. The packaging is really, really great to travel with. Doesn't um, look too heavy on your skin. It's not too matte. It's not really dewy. It's just a nice satin natural finish. So this is awesome. And then I'm only gonna bring two concealers, which I know may sound like a lot, but if you know me and if you watch my videos, I always like to bring um, a highlighting concealer as well as a spot concealer. So I am gonna bring the morphe um c 3.15 fluidity concealer this is one of my go-to um, spot concealers it's less bulky than the shape tape so this is great for me and then what's smaller is the ColourPop pretty fresh hyaluronic creamy concealer this is to highlight under my eyes and my face because this is in the shade light 50w and obviously the size is perfect to travel with so I'm bringing this as well. Okay, and then to settle over my face, I always bring this powder. I always recommend instead of bringing a loose powder to travel with a pressed powder. Pressed powders are usually just easier, obviously, since it's literally pressed and you have, you know, this one in particular comes with a little squeegee thing, so you don't even need to go in with a brush, but I always do. This is awesome. It has a mirror. As you can see, I'm hitting pan. This doesn't really have flashback. This is just a nice all around travel powder for me because I can use it day and night and it really does blur out my skin. So this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. Highly recommend. It's awesome. And I will continue buying this again and again. And it's my go-to travel powder, seriously. Now for bronzer and blush, these Alomar palettes are seriously unmatched. Now, honestly, sometimes if I'm just doing a weekend drip, I will just bring like a face palette. Like I'll bring the Cover FX face palette or, you know, my Too Faced palette. I actually have a video all about face palettes. I will link that down below in case you want to see some kind of condensed options. But yeah, I love these palettes so much. This blush palette is perfect to travel with because not only does it have a mirror and the packaging is super thin and great to travel with you have three different blush options all of which are so beautiful typically when I use this palette I will mix all three of them and it's perfect but I also love the ColourPop blush sticks this is in the shade Aloha and this is just a nice little like flush that you can give to your cheeks on a no makeup makeup day I don't know I just like traveling with cream products sometimes so yeah and then in terms of bronzer and under eye powder I have to give it to this guy the Brighton and Bronze Complexion Trio in the shade Medium Tan. They're not contours, but I don't really contour when I travel anyway. There's two bronzers and then an under eye brightener, which is like chef's kiss because I don't have to bring my Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. So this is perfect because I get my under eye powder and I get my bronzers. So this is awesome and totally, totally worth it. I forgot to mention this eye product. I love traveling with a super shock shadow. This changes every time, but recently I have been loving Deep Dive. It's this shade right here. I spoke about it in a favorites video. If you just want a one and done like glittery kind of wash to your lid but you don't want pigment i will just put this all over my eyes just tap it in boom add mascara and be good to go so it's really a nice alternative to throwing on like eyeshadow and doing a full-blown look so i always like traveling with like a one and done eyeshadow like this and then for highlight this is my go-to on the go travel highlight as well i believe i spoke about it in my what's in my makeup bag video two years ago but this is the jcat triple crown baked shadow in the shade dolce de leche and it's technically an eyeshadow but obviously you can tell because of the size this makes it perfect for traveling i love that you get all three shades in one but this highlight is so blinding and beautiful like it's just perfect to travel with you really cannot go wrong so yeah 
All right, everybody, and that is it for my what's in my travel makeup bag video. I hope you enjoyed all the products that I've shown you and kind of how I store them in this travel bag. Um, let me know what you want to see down below. Let me know what's in your travel bag. Do we have similar philosophies? I hope that I was able to share some good tips and tricks with you. Oh, also, like, I always bring an eyelash curler, but um, since I wasn't talking about brushes or tools in this, I didn't mention it. But I always travel with an eyelash curler and tweezers, so these always go with me as well wherever I go um, just in case you want to pluck like a stray eyebrow hair or you know I always curl my lashes before I add mascara so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please and hopefully I will see you in my next one